Hey, what's going on? My uh, meaningful thugs on the floor. How's it going? Welcome to another intensely interesting, entertaining, meaningful, and robust episode of... Um, what is this again? I need to brand it as something. This needs to have branding. Your, uh, your, your branding suggestion go in the comments below. Anyways, uh, welcome. Welcome. This is it. We're going to watch the pre-stream. Depending on how I feel, maybe we can do something else. and uh, Or maybe we can even do less if it's trash. But I, I think I can sit through a pre-stream. Come on. I'm built different. Uh, but let's run some songs until the dude comes here. Um, yeah, we just came off a really, really fun episode of That Being Said with Piece of Peace. We talked about a lot of stuff uh, that happened this week some recap of the year and so on so if you haven't checked it up you can you can go check it out it's a really good listen uh we had a lot of fun and um yeah i mean let's let's just get into this the do some stuff and exist on this platform before we all get uh, inevitably taken down Fair check is early this month Looking to chill, interact and have fun Open up my YouTube page And I see your melting face And when I hear Come on, bro Okay, there we go, we're back I closed it accidentally Your greasy hair your patchy goatee is meaningful to me. Yeah, is meaningful to me. Yeah, yeah. Your shitty playthroughs are all I need. I know you killed you, but you're meaningful to me. Yeah, you're meaningful to me. It goes tricky for five months of, uh, of positivity, interaction, and chill, dude. Just like my legs. Was this inspired by Daft Punk? That's actually a very good question because uh, kind of. Uh, I, I wanted to put like a robot sounding vocoder and I played around with it and I couldn't actually make it work. So there, there was supposed to be like a bridge that, that's like vocoded like a robot, but I couldn't make it work. So there isn't instead. And then Lefty... Uh, said that a, a, a saxophone solo would p would fit perfectly, but I decided not to add one because I was too lazy to find a, a sax sample. Yeah. You're back. You're greasy. And big ups to my face for five months of uh, being on my head and making me as beautiful as I am. Big ups to my face. Yeah. Your shitty playthroughs are all I need I know you killed you, but you're meaningful to me yeah, yeah. You're meaningful to me yeah. And big ups Eurobeat for 13 months I need to uh, I need to make some new badges for those long-term months. So if you have some fun ideas of what could be a badge, I could make some new ones. Because the old ones are just old ones at this point. I want to spice it up. I also have a camera today, I think. Yeah, there we go. We exist. You're hurting back. Your greasy hair. Your uh, so yeah, the, the point of this song, let's do a little bit of like a behind the scenes before we started. The point of this song is basically from the perspective of a dent. Uh, the, the, I would say it's kind of underwritten because I, I just produced it and made it all in like one sitting. Uh, and I also didn't write anything down. It's just things that came in my mind as I was recording and I just said them and it's all like recorded in bits so yeah I don't really take a lot of time uh, making these if you haven't figured out yet that's how I pump them out that fast I learned from the best from the best <laughs> plural 
Here we got another one. I've seen people um, pronounce Pueril in like a, a thousand different ways. Not not pronounce, but write it down. Like spell it out. It's very interesting. I like it a lot. Because. How am I pu pulling in like a, a double duty? I mean, the podcast is just fun, man. We just like shoot the shit for like two hours. And then this is just watching some, some dumbass. It's not like I'm putting in all this much effort, honestly. But there's no games today. I'm not going to be playing anything. It's just going to be sitting here and um, I guess drinking. Because why not? It's fun. I'm drinking. And I even managed to get a phone call with uh, with my family uh, in between the podcast and the stream. And they said they were going to make me an office for the for the streaming stuff. Yeah, I'm going to scam my parents out of uh, office money. This is going to be my drama saga, the office saga. Oh, I scam my parents to make me an office. Come on, hey guys, I'm really good online business. Why am I Suck, suck, why, why, suck, why, why, a, suck a dog off. Why, 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 the dude is surprisingly still not live, and he was late to turning on the stream. Why, why, so, there you have that. And after this, um, I guess if, if I still have some energy, we can do something else. We can do the vintage Tevin stuff. Because those are uh, those are fun as hell. And we uncover some like random lore from like five years ago. Like the, that $1,000 tip from yesterday, I completely forgot about it. DSP is not in his chat. Oh no, he said, uh, let me post up that we're live and then we'll get started. That's what happened last. And now he's saying good morning all. And he's doing the DSP talk to the hand emote. What? Talk to the hand, bro. Devour. Control his desire. Uh, that's a good question, Mario Faker. Who is more punctual, ALT or DSP? I would say ALT because he actually runs a show that has multiple people on it and actually has a, a back end that is pretty difficult to, to manage. Because today, today we were late because he, he needed to switch from, uh, from WPIG to That Being Said. And he usually doesn't run the That Being Said stream. So that shit is hard, man. Especially, you gotta manage multiple people, them all sounding, you know, level. It, 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 shit is hard. My shit is pretty easy, too. My, my stream is really simple. We keep it simple over here on level one, because I learned from the best. Learn from the vest. Because then there was some weird running meme once I finally showed a picture of my wife. That, they said she looks like a horse. And I was like, I need my horse, baby, oh. She's like my mother and my lover. I love the horse. I love my horse, baby. I love my horse, baby. I love the horse, baby. Dog. Okay, let's get crazy. Like Make some noise. Yeah. I love my horse, baby. <laughs> She's like my mother. We have to make like a music festival for detractors, dude. It's gonna be all the well known names. It's gonna be Lemtex. I'll be there. Uh, it's gonna be uh, Dark Side Drill. Uh, Dark Seed the Flow. Snort Hogan. By the way, let's let's play the Snort Hogan song. That one is catchy as fuck. Snort a Mania. If you haven't heard it yet. Uh, yeah, it's this one. He got the drip. See, for me, an old school trap problems, banger. My By old school, I mean like 20, 20 ish. Kinda? And she can't stop coughing. I can't stop the drip. Still got the drip. Still got the drip. Still got the drip. Can't stop the drip. Can't stop the drip. The drip is unstoppable. Still got the drip. Can't stop the drip. Still got the drip, though. Still got the drip, though. Still got the tips, though. 
Still got the tips up. Still got the drip up. Still got the drip up. Still got the tips up. Still got the tips up. Can't stop the drip. Still got the drip. Still got the drip. Still got the drip. Can't stop the drip. Still got the drip. Still got the drip. Still got the Also, um. Can't stop the drip. Yeah, I wanted to run a chat poll on this because I've been contemplating it. I'm gonna run a poll now. Since I made Squeezed Banana too, I want to keep up the gimmick of making sequels to songs that are popular. So I want to make. Uh, I'm interested in making Raccoon Eyes too. Oh, so do you want a Raccoon Eyes too? That is kind of like the first one, but different. It's a, it's an actual sequel. There we go. I love the the revolution in detractor song. I love them. They're all so fun. And the the dark sea the flow the new one is also fun as fuck. Uh dark dark sea the flow. There we go. Uh it time go. There we go. And I just song to the playlist. No. What is up everyone? Hello, hello and welcome. Yeah. Only Mike was on. It's been on the whole time, huh? I don't even know. Hello, hello, hello. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Turn up my neck bones. Turn up my neck bones. <laughs> What's up, Jamie? Yo, yo. What's up, Jay? Right. Yo, yo, my homes. Yo, yo. You know what time it is. Yes, Jay. It's time to go. Shout out to all my niggas from Guadalajara. Guadalajara. I'm cruising in my blue Corolla. I need the, that money to be a high Corolla. She's crying downstairs. You know what? I'm uh, I'm actually I'm probably gonna DM the guy myself, but I'm officially offering a collab between me and Darkseed the Flow. My beats and his bars, this is a double, triple, quadruple platinum. Just waiting to happen. We're gonna be on the, the Grammys. We're gonna be doing the Super Bowl halftime shit. So we need that. We need that. I'm gonna go harass him in the DMs. Uh, meanwhile, Phil is live. Let's enjoy. And today is. And Sunday, by enjoy, I mean. Uh, 2023. How's everything? Shit on today? it. Hope you're all having a great weekend, and I hope that you're all ready for a fun show here today. Um, a full day of streaming here on DSP Gaming. And we got the we iconic uh, Blanca shirt. We, we, we love this. React you guys love and this. Now we're back to the full time streaming goodness of gaming, and. Our first of three straight days of Elden Ring progress. Oh, King Sly. I saw he, he listened to my song on his stream because it was timestamped, but I actually didn't have much time to watch the whole thing. So I don't know. If you want to do a collab, if you want to drop some bars, that would be fun as hell. I still have a song to make for him, but I it's been on the back burner for way too long. At this point, it's uncomfortable to go back to it. It's been way too long. Aw. <laughs> You know, I need to start over, man. Addition, there's some exciting things going on in my second run in Elden Ring playthrough right now that essentially should be focused on, and I feel like it's going to be a good three days. We're talking about Elden Ring? And, and upgrades. Uh, fantastic. And build changing almost, um, which we'll talk about you today. You guys love this. Um, and so, obviously today I'm in a good mood and I'm excited for good gameplay with you guys all day long here on the channel. Um, on today's podcast... We are going to explore the Internet Historian YouTube channel. This is the channel that you guys have chosen for me to react to one week from today. Yes, that's right. It is actually one week from today, April 30th, the final day of the month, that I'll be doing uh, a special long-form reaction. This is going to be bad. He's going to ruin some Internet Historian videos day. for everybody else stuff who likes them. The Internet Historian but at least you get an actual and, entertaining uh, video that's going to get paused every three I, seconds. I went over there this morning and very briefly looked. We're going to look together in just a, a few moments here. And I already know the, what it the is. The videos there are around 30 minutes long. If you're talking about any video that he put out in like the last four to five years. Did he ask for permission? That's a very, very good very question. Before, uh, he like DM'd the guy uh, and then he didn't respond. Friend, he so he takes that as yes. Form kind of react style there he go. So he did get too. permission. It also looks like that. In a, in a roundabout way. Videos <laughs> called incognito <laughs> mode and story mode. But I don't know the difference. No. I haven't you don't want those. Those are way too thing. long for you, Phil. And you're not going to so get them. I really don't know what any of it is. You want the main channel stuff. So what we're going to do is today we're going to go over there and look together. You guys are going to hopefully tell me about the stuff that you've watched and you know about that you'd be interested in seeing me watch. And I think what we will do 
is either just directly determine the stuff you want me to do next week. They already told you. More than a few options. Like, let's say there's a bunch of options, five options, and I know I'm probably only going to react to, like, three of them. They already okay, told you, Dave. Half an hour long videos, it's I the Fallout 76 video. It's the Costa Concordia oh. video. And um, then, I think the we'll Fire Festival poll. one. Because right? the Fire we'll Festival one is actually, like, crazy week. informative we'll on, and, like, fantastic you know, production value. Videos or their videos, because I don't know if Internet Historian is a band or not. Um, you know, they, we like guys would like to see me react to next week, okay? So we'll get into that. We'll talk about the whole event next week in a few minutes here. We'll outline the event. We'll go there together and we'll explore, okay? So that's really the major meat of today's podcast. That's the one big thing I have to talk about. Really? Um... I don't really have much. I looked at game news. No more really? game news. No game like news. No, no. Oh today. my god, this is gonna be like yesterday's so, fucking more chill pre-stream. Relaxed podcast. It's gonna be like a bunch of nothing. Planning for next week's long form react event. All right. Um, what's been going on? Well, yesterday we had DSP versus the internet. I hope he reacts to our no weekly uh, Sky Vid, react show. A redemption story and about actual hard work and perseverance. Uh, I think it's definitely going to be a negative video. It's going to be the Fallout 1, Fire Festival, or Costa Concordia. It's not going to be a positive one. Because the No Man's Sky one, like like you were saying, it's like a redemption story. He doesn't want to do those. He wants to, to have something that he can be critical of. Be like, oh, look at these idiots. They make a fucking festival to fool all the stupid fucking influencers. Look at those fucking idiots. They spend thousands. Thousands of dollars. Thousands. There's more members. That means there's more competition for the members to get their, their videos watched. And what ends up happening is people are really in heated competition to get their videos watched on the show. Heated so competition. Now I've said it in stone. He's pitting den kids against tonight. each other. After my late stream, which is actually it, great, like his community react, turning against one another, it's very entertaining. Especially when people turn against Derek on Saturday, and people are gonna immediately run. Because like his chat at this point, it's kind of pretty much like eighty percent against Derek. When Derek shows up, it's just Derek memes. But what's like, oh yeah, Derek, if you're a bot, you have to announce you're a bot. Since we have gonna spam like that, people are upset when they don't get their videos watched. So yesterday, I tried to keep it moving. You know, if there was a 10, 15 minute video, I would watch it. the first minute. If I liked it, we would continue on. And at most, I'd probably watch around five minutes of any given video and then move on. So that and makes no sense, though. Get used to that. This is not a long form react event. Then have a the event have a condition clip. where that's people need to send you a video that's like up to two or three minutes long, man. Minute what is the point watching, watching like five minutes out of that, a 10, 15 minute video for one person's video? You see what I'm saying? Um, it's just a really bad idea of the show. format. A bunch of it's a really bad way to run your show. And some of it could be informative. Some of it can be funny. You know, some of it could be internet history. Some of it could be something new from someone. I could be exposed to a YouTuber. I've never could be even, burgers. You know, heard of their content before. We love burgers. It's been an interesting and educational experience. Burgers is like my months. favorite thing. At the same time, there's been a lot of ridiculous nonsense on there too, right? Um, so it's a good mix, I feel. But no matter what. There's always people who aren't satisfied, and the thing is, I'm not going to please everyone. If I take too long in any particular video, like let's say I'm watching five minutes of a video, everyone complains, skip, skip, you're watching too much, skip, go to the next. Then if I watch a video for only like a minute and I skip it, oh my god, he skipped the video, can you believe he didn't watch the video? What the heck? So it's kind of like, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Right? Not necessarily. Uh, still trying to find that it's just a bad medium. format. Like we're still if your format was better, room, less people would complain. Because then it would make sense. Time. You know, it's only been two months we've been doing it, so that's what? Ten episodes? Um, and it, it's going to get better over time. I really feel that. And thank you to those, again, who are continuing But then again, this is meaningful content. So you know, as long as it's meaningful, in the last two and a half uh, months, that's, that's great. Reviews. And that actually wasn't even... An original intended thing I was going to do. Well, there. you you, you know, twerk the spec. Stuff, so I'm literally not movies, sitting up straight. I'm back, literally in bed right the now. Days, so the joke is on you Potter for thinking that I'm having a good posture. You, I I have the exact same posture I always have. On them because I've watched uh, them the last few get weeks. scammed. Um, Look out! and then in addition. Um, I'm sitting the maker, same way. Right? It's all you about perception. Like tier maker it's all about video. perception. The one I did last week is one of my most viewed <laughs> videos on the channel. Okay? So, that's awesome. And I'm very happy to continue doing that kind of stuff for you as well. So, it's a good variety of stuff that we're making for the channel. I like this. I like that you guys... But it looks like I'm sitting in, a, in an office chair um, on like a gaming so, chair. FYI, no, I'm tonight, in bed right now. I'm just like, like you guys. Thread will go I'm like the normal restreamer. I'm not like those shills, so whoever they are. 
Uh, I'm mean, one of you guys. Uh, not I'm just eating. chill, as as hanging out, interactive. Not within, I'd say, the first 48 hours of that thread going live, likely you are not going to get your video watched on the show. Now, the exception yeah, is bro. you become an Ultra member. That's the highest. You, you need to be as invested the as the trolls are. Ultra member, I'm guaranteed to watch your video. And if you don't believe me, go look at some of the Ultra member submissions from this week. They're bad. Those were not videos I would have spent any time on outside of them being Ultra member videos. Let me tell you, that first video we watched, I was like. <laughs> So he's just pointing out that the ultra members, the dude giving him 20 bucks, they, they send him shitty videos. He's just anyway, admitting it. Um, so that's happening tonight. Just an FYI for everybody. FYI, those videos um, you send me, you pay pigs, really, they're like ass. Doing, I do. I, and I skipped them. Content, he you know? skipped through now, all of them. Some people, Someone presented an, a question to me yesterday. All right. They said, well, Phil, with the amount of members you have, you have over 100 members on DSP Reacts right now. Okay. Right? And... You know, people are in big competition to get their videos watched. Why don't you extend your React? Why don't you have a whole React day? Like, why isn't all of Saturday? Because it's very hard. Day? So why don't you do five hours? Because life is hard, man. Three. All right. And, and also, know, that's a stupid idea. Answer for now is, I don't want to become just an internet reactor kind of guy. I don't want that channel to be my main focus. You understand? But, um. Bro, DSP gaming is still my my bread and butter. That makes no said. sense, it's though. Still, That's a bad excuse. Got me on the internet notoriety. Because you do gaming. Still know me for and watch. Like the five it's other important. days Look you stream well is just gaming. Resident Evil Four. How does one day for reactions Resident make you all about reacting? Stream outstanding views on the videos, support all over the place. It it's really, one really sixth. Well. Right. Of all the content then, you make. Like, died down after that. Why? Because there's no new games. And there's nothing you can really do about no that. No new games. Well, Dead Island 2 just games. came out. You know, it's very good. I'm playing it. And I'm enjoying I it. I would recommend it. The slower times. But we got some new games coming up. Thank goodness. We got Star Wars coming up on Friday. Right? Jedi Survivor. Then after that, we've got Redfall. After that, we've got... Oh, Zelda. Redfall. Then He's so hyped Asia. up for Redfall. For absolutely no reason. Forward. Okay? We're going to have... Some good new stuff. Which Redfall is kind of like Dead Island when you think about it. It's a co-op game that you can only that you can also play solo. It's a semi-open world game, or maybe it's open world, but that doesn't really change much. I guarantee you, there's going to be a reinvigoration. And it's also 30 FPS, so he's going to cry about that. But he's going to spend money on it. said, how on earth? Very nice. Take more time away. Or is it on Game Pass? Well, that changes everything. To put towards man who content. who makes a hundred grand a year, he can't uh, buy a very short. full uh, prize game. What's happened is in the last I guess two and a half months since I launched DSP Reacts, there has been a drought of good games. Right? I mean, we had Dead Space remake, Hogwarts Legacy, Resident Evil Four remake. Can you name another great game that came out this year? He needs great it's games okay. to come out every single one. month to sustain right. his business. Uh, like then you know your business is bad. You should shut it down. Major releases. There's no, so like, I it makes no sense that you're still going. If you're so dependent on all all of like these the external months, factors. Have to really heavily, heavily focus here on gaming, okay? And maybe I can use that to integrate into some other stuff. Maybe if I play a lot of Street Fighter Six, I can do a big impressions video Oh, Street Fighter oh, of Six. course, or yes. He reacts or something like that. He's right? gonna flex well, about being a former champion. The champ. The champ is here. But in general, here. I definitely want my focus to be here for the, for the next couple of months. So, it doesn't make sense to do more react. Yeah, content. he quit Atomic Heart, by doing, the way. That's pretty one interesting. Whole major stream a week for. He's the, not playing Dead Island video. Two. DSP versus the Internet Clip Show. I'm already doing Fantastic. a couple videos a week of reviews, right? Some kind of review. The Tear Maker stuff just launched last week. You guys loved it, and you're asking me for more. And we're going to talk about that in a moment. If you want another one this week, or we should wait till next week, maybe. And now we got a long form React event we do once a month, and that's happening. This is so obnoxious, today. man. It's literally that's just like schedule. schedules and talking right about schedules. schedules. You see? And so, this is what he passes off as really interactive. Wish. By I talking to you about I'm what serious. his schedule should be about. Myself, this dude legitimately got like a fetish for schedules. On the content because for schedules DSP make you seem and like you're doing a lot of stuff. Man, my gaming, schedule is booked. I have so no I have no time to do stuff this week. So it's all full of stuff you know? to do. Um, it's good to know that there's enough people who want to see me branch out and do different kinds of content. I'm happy about it. Yeah, because you're boring to play video games. Not even the trolls are watching you play video games. But at the same time... There's limitations, okay? So, in order for me to continue to properly cover new releases and games, that means that I can't be doing 
an insane full-time kind of focus on React content. It has to kind of be like the side project right now, okay? But thank you. Nobody you asked you to do a full-time focus on React content. That's submission. literally I'm just a straw man. This long-form React, which we're going to talk about in a moment. So thank you all for that. Okay. All right. Let's talk about the schedule for the week. So this and there we go. The schedule stone, fetter segment. Exactly Fantastic. I love on, it. This schedule has changed around quite a bit. I love it. Uh, let's discuss. So today... Elden Ring. Elden Ring. That's right. And now and he's going to tell you all the progress it. he's made in the game and what he's doing in the Unlike game. The, the first Because just telling you what game he's this playing is not, is not enough. Really be a spam magic spell. There you go. As if, you know, that would be bad. I don't think so. But I think a lot of people say, eh, well, the game's a lot more easy now if you're just spamming magic spells, right? It's actually like, I mean, that's very it's almost scientifically. Run, that's run like that. Well, like designed to be the worst. You know how some pop launch, songs yeah, are based around like the four chords of pop they because they spam magic mentally, emotionally stimulate people in a certain way. This is that kind of really shit, but for dense. With intelligence, so that way you can. That kind of shit. Your glintstone sorceries that you're using. It's but like you're actually like gameplay like recaps, schedules. What are we draft. doing this week? And, I was like, and within me. within so those segments it, of what we're we gonna do, what movies. I've already done and in that specific thing. And yes, apparently it's really good. It scales with intelligence. It has a bleed effect. Um, and it, it you know apparently it's really good. Everyone says it used to be one of the most broken things in the game, but now they've nerfed it and it's kind of just decent now. There we go. So now it's gonna be even but easier. For I him. literally just got the ability to use it. I couldn't even use it properly until last stream, and it was the very end of the stream. So today's focus for me will be going through a couple side content areas, probably the Underground Well and Limgrave. And again, like his Elden Ring content is pretty much worthless because it's his second playthrough, so he knows where to go, what to do. Additionally, on top of that, he's watched people play it, so he knows where to go and what to do. And additionally, on top of that, people are telling him on a moment-to-moment -moment basis where to go and what to do. And the whole purpose is to gain enough grace and or runes, whatever the hell it's called in this game, because I don't even remember. So there's like level three level layers to to of, of bullshit so that you have more, to go through to uh, get to the actual okay. playthrough. And that that actually good. ruined really the playthrough. Like, we're use, learn how to use the, the Moon Veil today. Because uh, like the least easy, interesting way of well, playing a challenging game is to look up everything about it that makes it less challenging. So it should be fun. And I hope that you guys will stick around and hang out for Elden Ring today. It should be a good stream. Tonight on the late stream, it is Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, a nice late night chill stream at 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. And tonight we're going to do a little bit of story. And then I feel after we finish with the story, well, a little bit of story advancement, we should maybe start the Shivering Isles DLC, which I made the decision to purchase on the last Oblivion stream. Uh, I think it's installed now. We'll have to double check that to make sure it's fully installed. But, yeah, everyone says that this DLC is one of the best ever made from Bethesda games, and I absolutely should and this check is, it out. Um, so I got it, it was 10 bucks, and I'm more than willing to give it a look, since people seem to be hyped for it. I hope people He's bringing it up and, like he had and, to spend uh, on a season pass that cost like $40. Again, I don't you know bought a, a DLC Isles for a game that's over 10 years old, my guy, that cost $8. Why do we gotta flex fun, right? about so it? You'll join me tonight for that, for the beginning. Now, tomorrow, Monday, will also be another Elden Ring stream. Um, after I complete the underground, you know, the initial underground well, and then I complete um, the the Celia Magic City, we have options, right? Like, we could more fully explore Kaled. We could head back up to the north and head, say, to uh, Mount uh, Galen. That's the thing about uh, Ulrich that Firelord in chat points that out that it's, it's baffling how much item, DSP like thinks Magor, people care about this. Or but there's actually like a, 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 I guess, a correlation you can make between him telling you that you love this and you actually loving this. So if you're really susceptible and very dented, he can just put these thoughts in your head to the point where you're kind of going to start caring about it without even caring about it. very different than my initial build. You know, so it's it, like I mentioned earlier on, on that being said, it's kind of like a, a, a game of telephone. He tells you something, you believe it when it's repeated hard enough and you're susceptible enough to, to hearing and believing stuff and you're gullible enough. And then you start thinking and you tell it back to him. And it's like a circle of delusion that never ends that is actually pretty bad for him because that separates him even more from reality really neat in that game it was really the 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 best version of the job system for those who don't know in final fantasy every few games the job system 
uh, mechanic. He hates the job system. Job to a character, and now that character will learn certain abilities. Well, some of the abilities are temporary only. Oh yes, and and on top of that, you have the LARPers so example, that that a a intentionally so gaslight people, spells. which I think now, they're doing a great job. A I would love them to keep it up. Level healing spells, it's very forever. fun. But then, if you swap to say a black mage, you'll still retain some of the white mage spells. So now yeah, you have black, black mage. mage. Also heal, and that's some of the cool things about that game is you can basically create hybrid classes that are very powerful and unique. And by the end of the game, the game gives you the. Well, I think he has a limited vocabulary. Jack of all trades um, class. I mean, sure, I, I guess most people do. I do, fighter, but you magician. you kind of have to really cool get the best that, out of it. So we While he pretends like he doesn't by using words that he doesn't night. necessarily now, know what it night, what they mean. And then it makes it even more apparent that, that he's very limited in, in the ways that he can express here. himself. Uh, my heart jumped. Let's put it that way, okay? Here's what happened. What happened? So we're in the midst of maybe the first half an hour of gameplay. And as I'm playing, I turn to my laptop... My laptop screen goes off. And oh, like, yeah, he had this thing. What the? Now, to fully explain, okay? And now we need to go into another setup, level of explanation. My desktop computer is obviously what I capture and stream from. That's over there. I have a dual monitor setup. I use this left-hand monitor to take a look right now. I'm staring at myself on screen. That's screen. really stupid. I monitor the quality of the internet. That's a, an actually dreadful length, setup. And I monitor my CPU use and all kinds of stuff there through the streaming app. And I also have YouTube. No, the laptop is perfectly so fine. But have, maybe like, something like that can happen, and it's not going to be fine. Contributions are coming in there. You got one of those That's generic like fail to to boot on my laptop errors. In front of me, okay. Shit just what happens. This window. Stream chat open right here to the right. So this is how I read the stream chat with all of you, and I interact with you during the streams. But then I also have the events tab open and the events tab basically tracks things like super chats super stickers memberships gifted memberships all at once here and then i have another <laughs> window open the, the same and order that he that says in. them so when he begs my data super chats super stickers memberships gifted memberships tips stream for proper shout outs that's the same order he's going and it's just automatic you're just shooting so him up it's like steph curry throwing threes really you, you don't even think about it it just comes out of your mouth well my laptop just went turned off and then when i pressed a button the screen turned on, and it was an icon of a hard drive with a magnifying glass, and it said, no bootable drive detected. Okay. Then you reboot it, I and said, it found it. What? Uh, so this laptop I've had for about almost two years. It was donated by a fan. Thank you so much to the fan who donated it. That was so generous of you uh, about two years ago. Basically, what happened was I had a laptop for about 10 years. And that laptop was on its last legs. It was barely functional. It was it was barely able to boot and just do the basic things that I needed to do for a stream. Now that's all I use the laptop for. To be perfectly clear, I don't use this laptop to capture, to okay. play games, nothing. It's just to monitor the streams. That's it. Okay? What does so monitoring the stream like mean? Just looking at all the money um, people give them. You can do that on your phone. So, I you know this laptop replacement. You can do that a on a tablet. It was much better than what I needed. This is an Asus. No, excuse me. Yeah, an Acer. An Acer Aspire 5. It's and they got pretty, him a laptop you know, that is much better processor. than what he needed. It's got onboard graphics. As, uh, with pretty much stuff. everything he, get, um, he it's gets. It's just much better mm -hmm. than what he needs. And then he uses so, it to like 20% uh, you know, of what it's actually I, capable I love it. of. It's been great. I've never had a problem with it. And so when this happened yesterday, I, I nearly had a heart attack. I'm like, what? I've only had this laptop for two years. I don't use it for anything. But monitoring the streams, that's it. I've never even gone onto like another website besides YouTube. Yeah, what's up, uh, Mike or R? Twitter, or, that's and, it. And uh, Francisco, or, or what's email. up, man? Like that's literally. And everybody else that just joined. Nothing. You miss nothing. Right? So welcome. So how in the holy hell could this thing be having an issue, right? So right in the middle of my stream, this happens. So I said, well, how do I even reboot the thing? I kid you not, I've never hard rebooted the laptop. This is like, he's not even like begging for to. a new the one. It's so a good. nothing story. So said, oh, he rebooted it from like the, the so button it, and it was and perfectly it fine. Up. And now it seems to be working fine. There we go. So I actually don't know what happened. It's a false alarm. Um, it's a non-emergency. Was it just a random <clears throat> failure of, of the hard drive or something? You know, did the laptop yeah, just Yeah, people call this uh, shit happens. So much? And maybe I hadn't done a proper hard reboot in so long that it just had an issue, right? Like, maybe that's what it is. Maybe I just never, because it, it doesn't hard reboot, I just put it into suspend mode and then I open it again. So maybe that's what it was. Suspend that it was mode. just literally not formally rebooted in so long 
that did he for real not not reboot like the laptop really in two years he doesn't actually shut it down he just put it in like sleep i hope that it's not some like you know issue are you for real drive is now starting to show signs it's crashing i mean i can't believe like people actually do this and I not even like seniors do this purposes, and i've helped so. seniors like set up their you know, pcs and stuff they down, always do shut it down and then down, boot, boot it up down, every single time do right they're like really by the book what on earth am i gonna do so i guess i guess uh you know we'll see yes basically what happens is when i'm done with my laptop for the day i close it and when you close the lid, it goes into sleep mode automatically. And the next day when I open it up, it makes you re-log in and everything. But I don't think it formally has rebooted in like... Formal reboot. Almost two years. <laughs> this Seriously. dude is special, man. I'm not even kidding. Uh. So. There you go. Um. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope that the laptop doesn't have any further issues. All right. Okay. So that's Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, the mainstream. Wednesday, again let's will go. Be we have uh, now, a lot wait. more days to go days this week, so Why please tell us what's going to happen on, on Wednesday. Isn't that please overkill? recap the gameplay so far. Streamer. There's a very good reason we're doing it for three straight days. I'm going to get to that. Once we get to look further into the schedule, you're going to understand why we're doing it for three straight days. Okay. And then uh, Wednesday night, for, for now, it's up in the air. But. Here's the way that I'm approaching it. Wednesday night is going to be chill no matter what we do. But the question is, what do you want? Because we have three options for Wednesday night's late night stream. Number one, we could alternate back. He's and, rocking and like crazy today, Oblivion man. He's, for he's, another he's stream fucking... This week. I'd he's okay flailing and he's rocking and he's... Maybe you want more of that right away. I'd be down for it. So let me Number get two, this straight. we could do another He has never turned IT off for the yes. last few years. Yes! Yes! Face palming. No, he booted it day one. And from then on, it's just been... Close the lid, open the lid, log in. Repeat. And then, uh, the other yes! option. Yes! For two years! You could do another tier maker. And his PC has, hadn't been turned on in more than two years. His actual PC, the thing he streams from. And you guys loved it. Not only did it do He's well, like he an actual, like an screen, actual grandpa. And grandpas take care of their equipment much well better. Demand. Like I said, that video has uh, probably- Like they handle it with, the with extreme care. Of any video. Actual seniors. on DSP React. Um, like my grandparents, like they got like five. two fucking- New videos on that shit. The, All right. Two cases so for their I iPad. Liked it and, like and two. It like people want more. However, it seems like some people want it right away. And others like, nah, you know what? Wait a while. Maybe do one every two weeks or so. That way you're not overdoing the React stuff. And we feel like if you do Tier Maker too often, then it won't be, you know, special. Um, it's not special so currently. It's just what some dude doing a I Tier do Maker. On Tuesday it's not night. like you're okay with more L doing something oh, prestigious. Me. I'm okay you're just with more doing Tier Maker, man. I'm okay with more Final Fantasy. It's a website you, you can open at any time and just do it. We could do that too. Of course, if that's the case, we got to figure out what would it be. We got to start talking about what, what should the topic uh, of the tier maker B, correct? Um, so what do you think? I don't know. I mean, I, I guess what we could do is we'll talk about it today and we'll talk about it tomorrow to help try to determine. And then hopefully by the end of tomorrow, you know, we know what we're doing for Tuesday night because people are going to want to know what to come by for, right? He's going to do a um, Street Fighter thing. If he's smart. So what do you if think? you're smart, you want to do night. your best think topics first. Final Fantasy V. While it's hot, maker. while it's new. And if it's a tier maker, you know, what kind of a tier maker? Do you so think just do the things you know the most course. about first. And then yeah. do the things I'll you don't know much about. Suggestions. Fair enough. All right. So now, Wednesday's my day off for the week. Okay? And thank you for allowing me to take a day off, thank goodness. And uh, I hope what? that you will watch what? any content. That thank you for allowing me to take a day off. Day on demand. Uh, when I come back on Thursday, it'll be... What? The Street Fighter Work in fucking Amazon World Tour demo on the Xbox Series X. Now, technically, this demo is live right now on the PlayStation okay. 5. But the reason I'm not playing it is because I'm going to play Street Fighter 6 on my Xbox Series X. Because as I showed you the other day, I have a nearly unused joystick for the Xbox Series X that I'm going to be playing Street Fighter Favorite 6 on. Favorite PR, zero, and, and tier maker since May 1st so is coming. It wouldn't make sense for me to do this since... demo on PlayStation Oh yeah, well, now. we should do that. The the favorite porn stars, Derek is going to have it stacked. And I'm sure they have a tier maker for that. Come on. When the formal game comes out. You got to put you know, Luna Mills in the S tier. Why do that? If I play it on Xbox, she, she works at like nobody else. Carry over. And that way Come we don't on. have to And she also does, the, does those puke, puke videos. Those are, oh. 
However, oh. the demo doesn't come out on Xbox until Wednesday. Of course, I'm off on Wednesday, so that means I'm going to do it as the main gameplay stream on Thursday. Now, supposedly... She's just, she just like sitting there, filming long. those videos, Actually, being like... Shove it in my butt. Really shove it in my time, butt. Shove it in my an butt. An and that's why she's a goat. So what we'll likely do is do character creation, play through the demo, and then maybe have a kind of 30, 45 minute chill session where we just talk about what we just experienced in the game and what we all thought and and give our you know overall opinion is he gonna get street fighter 6 on both consoles a, a probably not that sells a lot more copies of street fighter he's just gonna see how many people would. play on each so and that's all gonna be dependent on how many wins like he gets improved. you know i mean it's gonna be a good like decompression after playing it for roughly two hours to, to talk about yeah dude already needs to decompress exactly from playing play. video games so, that's the mainstream on thursday thursday night I can't believe a dude who claims to well, be relaxing and chilling 24-7 has to decompress from, from relaxing and chilling. Then That's like Friday, taking a vacation from here, being on vacation. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. This is the sequel to jo Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order from several years ago. Jedi Fallen Outcast, as he likes to call it. Looks really, really good. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. And I'm going to be playing it all day long on Yes, Friday, we're talking okay? about six First days game, from now. Dreams. Because so, you guys you know, gotta know, and we're gonna be every day Friday, from now on. Gonna be we'll be talking about six days from then now, Saturday, from that really day. day. So it's gonna be DFD right. So basically, Internet. every day you got one new the day. Is gonna be more stuff and we're gonna be recapping the other five days. DSP gaming. Because that's Sunday, what we do. Because we have nothing else to talk about. Long form reactive end of the month, and yes, per your votes and your instruction, I'll your be reacting to Internet Historian YouTube channel. So that's what we're about to look at. We're actually about together to go to that channel, look at the videos that are on that channel. Yo, wait, 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 wait. And basically, wait, 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 because usually when I do a long form <laughs> react, the video that I react to is anywhere from 90 minutes to two hours long. Um, and therefore that would give me enough time not only to react to several videos, but to you know give my own commentary and everything on them. Of course, there's gonna be a podcast that morning. Yes, there will be a live meal, a feast a live with meal. Phil. Uh, will take place that day. What will the food be? I have absolutely no idea. I haven't even spoken with my wife about it yet, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, his <laughs> wife needs to tell him what to do. He's getting cucked by his wife for everything. When his day off is, what so, he's going to have for his meal. This bitch is running Sunday. everything, man. Should be an exciting day and something different She's the She is the silent majority. She is low-key the silent see, majority. So you might say, well, Phil, why are you playing three days of Elden Ring this week? Well, did you hear what I just this said? This bitch turned him into an incel. Thursday, Star Wars Friday, reacting to Star Wars Saturday. And like, all day of like why are you Sunday, surprised that he Monday. power trips on <laughs> fucking idiots in his chat? This bitch turned him into... She took week, what was left of his balls. Ring at all. And now it's just it like a... It'll be like... There's weird, like, raised and looking things down there. See, see? They're all gone. Very, it's just very power tripping on some fucking morons in his chat, okay. like Jade. Turn to Elden Ring He's not power tripping not on Jade, priority, but uh, you don't need to, to put much effort rush, to power right? trip on Our Jade. With this you can just tell him to go for a walk. Way, but also to get far enough into the game so when the DLC comes out, whenever that may be, <clears throat> I'm far enough into the game to pick it up from there and play the DLC, right? So it's all good. It's not like... We have to rush through this game, and it sucks that we're not playing it for a week or so. It's not a big deal at all, actually. So, <clears throat> I hope that you will all join me this week for Elden Ring, and then next week for the React and the Star Wars focus, and then we'll get, probably get back to more of a balanced deal the week after. Okay? Okay. So, I hope that makes sense. Um, all right. So, real quick... Let's just cover some quick housekeeping stuff. Housekeeping like stuff. Oh, we're going to beg for members. YouTube channel and take a look at it and see what you guys are interested in. Oh, Sound no. Good? We're going to do housekeeping on the on the podcast. Good, evening, or, uh, good morning. Oh, good to see you here. <laughs> good, good. Bruh. Everyone good? Man, what Sound are we doing? doing? Is anyone even paying attention? <laughs> really? Because <laughs> literally, I don't think anyone's paying attention. Not even Derek is nobody's paying attention to me. <laughs> oh, he lost their now attention, man, by yes. rambling about bullshit no, for like heard of a game named what, at the arcade. 25, 30 minutes. Nobody cares now, bro. Weekend's going good so far. Thanks for asking. He's so salty, man. Okay, 
Oh, We're in the right. board so, meeting. Nobody's paying attention. You it's like a Michael Scott you segment. That I'm a crowdfunded except Michael Scott didn't realize nobody was paying attention. Anything like that. Because he's not like a real person, you know. He's a character, and this dude is supposed to be a real person. On the streams that primarily he's supposed to be. I'm not saying he's doing a good job. Including things like super chats, super stickers, memberships, gifted, gifted memberships, or tips. tips. Those are the main ways that I, I make a living here on YouTube, and I appreciate everyone who supports my efforts to keep putting out the quality of content that I yes. Thank you for that. Hey, you guys, uh, are you guys see? paying attention? <clears throat> Allow me to beg. Daily. Just, just so I know, are you paying attention? Well, now, this is the ways you can give me money since I got your attention. That's the nature of the beast here on YouTube. It's like the nature of the beast. So, the Mr. Beast. All day today, I figured, hey, maybe I get six new members by the end of the day. That would be great and that would help out the channel. So, maybe you'd like to consider becoming a member if you're not, or maybe you'd like to renew a membership that's lapsed, or please consider. Maybe you're looking to help the channel out, you know, in a bigger way than just, you know, something you get. You could always drop a member bomb on the community. We have member many people bomb. here waiting in the wings who would absolutely love to receive a membership. <laughs> so please consider it. And thanks to anyone who does. And of course, if you want to receive a membership, be sure to be that your your channel's eligible. You type exclamation point gifted to the chat. That's the link that'll take you to the page. Is he you gonna tell them to engage in chat? Set up your eligibility ahead of time so that we have someone. Oh, you guys, you guys should be you'll be in, in very the, active in chat. Waiting, you'll be in that waiting list. Just There's gonna be this saga is coming up where people are just gonna okay. start stop so, talk, talking in his chat. Look at how There's fucking also, slow his chat super is. Chat super stickers, great way to help out the channel. Those they were just talking about some people stuff, people and then he was like, "Hey, you guys, are you paying attention?" And then they all just shut up. And of course, there's tips. Tips are great. Tips out to help out the channel a ton. And Bobby so Pesos is, is trolling in chat. Love this community, DSP Gaming. I promise I'm going to come through soon. Uh, you have, have my word. Tiered reward That's some trolling. Tips, because tips are such a great way to support the channel. I actually get more of a tip cut than most any other contribution. I get more of it. So, and tips. And tips. I put on Gunner glasses. Raise $100 in tips <laughs> You to pick and there's also a person in his chat that is a, a regular. It's called nice support, in the running, probably the who is an game. obvious the troll because that literally running. means support. If you couldn't tell already, and they well. say tips um, help help us right ball. away. Bucks. You get to vote on a silly And support player. is a member, uh, so they're not getting banned, even though they've been sneak dissing since since Jesus. Okay, good stuff. Um, the last thing is if you if you're just sitting here watching. And you're like, you know, I like the content here on DSP Gaming. I wonder how I could help if, you know, I can't do anything financially. Well, I have, a, like I have a really good Simply suggestion like of how you can help suck a dog off. An engagement lets a channel be found in the YouTube search rank. That's right not now, true. Someone on YouTube is looking for someone but you don't want to grow, Phil. If I Remember, you make, a, channel, you make content for a curated audience. Find my channel. So please give the stream a like if you're enjoying it and you want to help out. It's a great way to do so. Okay? There you go. All right. Oh, and there's what a guy in this chat do, called like Now YouTube. Guys. What I would like to do spelled a little bit different. Jump onto this uh, and says tips are a win-win. They're immediate. Phil gets more of it, channel. and okay. we get rewards. I love I love all these like fake members that got a gifted membership wow, now trolling big. the fuck out of chat. Million subscribers. <laughs> What's crazy about and support video. says well said That's Now Guys. Is, well said. If you get a video that goes viral, <laughs> then. By word of mouth, I love this that chat. Video will continue to spread in the popularity. Best. And if you're someone who at least semi frequently puts out content, your channel will likely stay in prominence. If you're someone who doesn't put out a lot of content and you get millions of subscribers, typically people will subscribe, forget about it, and just leave the subscription, <laughs> never take it away. You see? So that's pretty fun that this guy. Does not put out a lot of videos at all, or or woman, we don't know, right? Um, but essentially, they've got a ridiculous amount of, of subscribers because of it, right? because they're really good videos. So you don't have to put out a lot of them as long as they're high quality. Phil, the you don't actually understand this because you've okay. never done this. Um, you go latest or most popular. I think let's click on most popular. Let's see what are considered the most popular videos. That the internet historian has ever put out. So when I click on most popular, He's already jealous as fuck of somebody infinitely up, more entertaining and talented than he is. Far <sighs> the most popular video he's ever put out. It is the fall of '76, which is a 26-minute long video, and obviously it's about Fallout '76. The thumbnail 
is a giant Todd Howard face. And now we got a literal like TTS. To be a backdrop or maybe the sun going. Because he's looking on his phone. Know. Can't even look on his laptop no that he uses for right. business stuff. But it is by far like it has over 12 million more views than his next most viewed video. The video was uh, three over three years ago. It's so probably between three four years old. No surprise. Fallout 76 has been out for many years, right? <clears throat> so, um. I would think that's a shoe in I would think if you wanted me to check out content from a channel. There was also a guy in his chat who's trying to troll who's called uh, Mike Latoris. channel has ever put out, correct? Figure this one out. Um, so, that's what I'm thinking, is the fall of 76 is probably maybe the first video I even react to. Okay. We got another but troll that, called Gary Baxter. Then it starts to get a little bit more questionable. As well. The next most viewed video. It, they're uh, they're all so obvious, but he can just let them, he just lets them fly, man. On the fall of 76, <laughs> down to only 21 million views. Uh, and I say only, like that's a small amount. Like I've ever gotten 21 million views on a video I've put. Big ups for the sub, right. um, um, COVID-1984. Of No Man's Sky. Okay, and goodening of No Man's Sky. Now that video is also between three and four years old. Okay, and that video, I'm assuming, is about the history of No Man's Sky. For those who don't remember, No Man's Sky. <laughs> We're gonna get a game. recap on No Man's Sky. <laughs> a revolutionary space exploration game with with the guy. A, he's a, mastered. You know, he's mastered talking about races, nothing. Mining and just you know, uh, stuff. elaborating on things nobody things asked for. It was absolutely pathetically bad. It was a joke. Okay. How bad the game was quite frankly, um, did not live up to anyone's expectations of what the game was supposed to be, including the promises of the game developer themselves. Now the thing is, over the last five plus years, the person who made that game and I forget his name off the top of my head has continuously look at your game, Sean. And now Look at your game. Good game. Now, I haven't played it in many years, and I probably have no interest in it. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Once something is bad, it's always so bad. It's Just like when, with worse. Wings. But this is wings Murray tried to lose weight, weight you guys, Sean and Murray. it didn't work. Why would he ever um, try again? This video is from three, four years ago. It's not going to include any Mr. Black and White, who also doesn't see the world in black and white. Sean Murray made to the game. It's just going to be the base level experience. Okay? Ramrod, if you don't shut up, uh -oh. I'm just going to get rid of you. What do you say? Ramrod is being absolutely obnoxious in the chat right oh, now. Oh, and now we're just singling well, out a guy abusing him. supposed to be a video on the screen, and he said that like 10 times so far. Who's Ram... Oh, Ro Robertonio so Ramrod, Ramrod. And final warning, shut up. Stop being But why, why is he being no toxic, kidding. though? You're being, You're being way more toxic okay. than he is. He just so, asks you if, there, the thing about if you can share a video. Stuff. It's a 53 minute Bruh, video. Why am I toxic? Minutes, okay. So knowing that, all right. Basically, we get like oh, baby rage. It's three years of updates and in good innings. So it sounds like it's actually about how the game was hyped and then came out like crap, but then it was improved. So yeah, it literally says it in a title, old, dude. You got to be like three IQ to not figure this out. So basically, it would kind of be like a redemption story of No Man's Sky is what you're saying. That's interesting. It'll be like yeah, you couldn't figure it out. The game then okay. you couldn't figure it out. Of course, much more has come out in the last three or four years, but at least this would be what does in goodening like mean? Story. Something becomes so good, and it's it used to not be good. Does anyone still care about No Man's Sky? Yes. I mean, I'm just being honest. Like I even I cared about it when I had my KO Gaming channel in 2016. And now I we pull out the the good the old reliable. No, but nobody cares really about it because it's old. No Man's Sky today. So, what I would say is, it's like a maybe. I'm interested in it. I play it every once in a while. Very, when they drop, like, a, a big update, I go back to it. I put in, like, 30 hours. talking, like, two hours minimum. I put in probably, like, 100 you know, hours in it. talking about my experiences with it and everything, Easy. right? Easy. Um, and then you got the creative okay, mode. You can just build whatever you want out, and explore you whatever funny. you want. He did it again. Like, he's just, he's, it's like, oh, look, there's a hornet's nest. Poke, 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 poke. <laughs> Oh look, hornets are actually starting to fall out of the nest and attack me. All I can taste is I gout. Hey, I'll take gout. Poke, 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 poke. Like what an idiot! What a fucking so idiot! Am I right? He comes back and he says it one more time. I'm just gonna ban him. I've had enough. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> he's gonna say something else that's gonna rile anyway. him up, and he's gonna ban so, him. That's my um, prediction. I'd be down for that video if you're interested, but. This is how I'm you troll the guy. You just expose him for the toxic too. piece of All shit right, he is. Maybe by asking him normal okay. stuff. Now, continuing on, 
the next most popular video he did. Uh, if you need the the Cyrax the sound effect, uh, I have it posted in like this various discords, but you can DM me on Discord. I'll send it to you. And it's an 11 minute long video. I can send you the whole now, song who soundboard. Firefest. I actually do. I remember when hey, Firefest down, and there were all these. It's a really good video. The worst festival ever held. People were there. They were stranded. There was nothing to do. It was basically the biggest scam joke ever. Since then, so much has happened. Um, the guy has gotten uh, sued. Into Dude. basically oblivion. I think he's making a new a new money. thing. And then get this. Are you ready for this? I kid you not. This guy decided to try to make the money to pay for his loss in court over Firefest. He was going to hold another festival. Baller alert. That's what ballers do. B baller alert. They never give up on scamming. Go. You get busted for scamming, keep going. Actually, it yeah. worked for DSP. It's going to work for you. Other festival just just try it. To it. I don't think anyone did. But... Yeah, that's all happened since Firefest. But anyway, um, so this is a ten minute, eleven minute long video about Firefest, but it's around five, six years old. So it's basically just gonna cover the Firefest of then. It's not gonna have any of the updates or anything since then. But it could certainly be an interesting video. I feel okay. After that, it's the failure of DashCon, the world's Dash CAD. That's an awesome and video too. And that video... It's kind of old, but I love it. It's fantastic it's a video. a long time ago. And DashCon it itself was, was such a, a blur, such a dumpster fire. Festival. I don't know anything about it. The that. inflatable pool. The failure of a rain you guys could go play in the kiddie pool. Get mad. Again, I don't know what any... And they were begging on. for money there on the Dash spot. Con you guys have some cash? I've never heard of any of these. <laughs> they were having a the free stream. Video, this is one that people... You guys, we need like, uh, like a really uh, a lot of support of to pay for this hotel. This is a video from only about two and a half years ago, so it's relatively new compared to most of the videos on the channel. It's a 46 minute long video. And people have said, I yeah, guess- Yeah, and they Tom peed Cordia in the kiddie pool. Was, was it a cruise or a cruise liner? Cruise? And something happened with it that was like a big, a big This dude knows so nothing about deal. literally anything and that exists. I guess this is a documentary about what happened with this- I'm fascinated that he can go out of his house once a week and make it back yeah, right? in one piece. I'm fascinated by this. So, you know, uh, then continuing on, very serious business. I don't know what the hell that is. Going camping at the end of the world, I don't know what the hell. Uh, this is about Harold camping when he apparently said the, the world was going to end and then it didn't. And people I mean, are like, what, what's up with that, dude? Internet movement? I don't even know. I don't even know what it was. He doesn't know anything. Mm, um, <laughs> the great <laughs> iPhone massacre? What? Any polls a goal? Like, I don't know any of these. This when people you know? voted on a bunch of random, like, Mountain Dew, name the, name the name the flavor view. polls. These are like, and then where, million, um, million views. Justin Bieber is it's gonna still, go perform. And they put him in, like, a, a, a school no for the deaf, because 4chan. So, I might have been wrong on, on some of those details. I don't it's remember exactly. Zone but it, it's something along those lines. So it's about Area 51. And I think that documentary is about how several years ago, remember there was that weird internet movement to storm Area 51? Oh yeah, it was and Taylor it's Swift. To be the history of what right. happened with that. It's a 40 minute long video. It was one for so Justin Bieber lengthy. too, I think. Um. So I guess the question is, what, uh, there's a lot of videos there, right? Oh yeah, and like, Pitbull at Walmart in Kodiak, Alaska. That, that's that's fantastic one. And the dude actually went events, there because he's an alpha. I have time Pitbull is above several. every because other said, human being ever. Events, he's like the GOAT. The videos I've been reacting to are anywhere from 90 minutes to two hours, and that takes four or five hours to react to. So if I'm reacting to- He's more popular than the actual Pitbull dogs. I, You know, I'd be able to break it up, have some breaks. And of course, he's right. Mr. Worldwide. So, he can go anywhere, I guess anytime. What we, do is we could do a poll, right? We could. We and any poll is a goal again. Um, or we could just like kind of get public opinion for what you guys think. Right now, people are saying. Yeah, one of the polls was about the Mountain Dew flavor, and Hitler did nothing wrong. Mountain Dew won <laughs> because, of course, it was. I don't know if there's a consensus. Of course, right? Those so videos are amazing. So just, just go one, watch them. They're, they're so good, man. I can't recap them well enough. The Fire Festival one, Dashcon Rainforest. Uh, Rainforest is the great the one. There were just the diapers flying all over the place. The thing people is, yiffing left and right. Right now, a lot of his other videos that are older are very short. They're like five minute long videos. Okay, you can just watch so fifty of them. Like, they're not very. They're definitely not going to go into much detail, right? Um, <clears throat> this is such a stupid anything, segment. 
I'm thinking they would be very abridged, like maybe just like comedy rather than really focused on on covering <laughs> actual facts. What can DSP can cover in five minutes? Know. Um, what can he cover in five minutes? He can't so even cover think? his background on a game he what hasn't he even says, played yet. He's at Concordia Area 51. He can't even tell you oh, about okay. a single day so of, of streaming he's gonna do in five minutes. We probably won't watch all four. We'll probably end up watching like three. But why don't we pick like four? And that way we'll we'll maybe that day we'll do live polling. Right? And we'll see, okay, with the polling, which do you wanna see first? Which do you wanna see next? Alright. So I say Fall of 76 absolutely should be in there. I'm interested in that one too. And and okay. again, we got a troll. Personally, Paul Rivers in chat says I'd with a super chat, gonna be in Renton. One, Can I come see long. you for lunch? Short. Okay. Oh, and so, this dude is, he's getting lean. Just watch you know. this. Uh, I'm not sure. Whoops, if that's he's gone. That do or not. He's gone. He's really short, right? Okay, go. A lot of people are saying cost. He's gone. Not, not even acknowledged. Talking about video is violated completely. Rather than just watch the uh, damn video. Contention here. Uh, make, uh, yes, yes. We're gonna do a podcast okay. instead and of just just watching it because this is what the interactive aspect Let's of see. everything is, dude. Uh, anime oh, one hundred and nine. Okay. Big ups for Here's tip. What we're gonna do. This is what the interaction the is about. You get to tell him every single no thing he does, and the that's why these streams are festival. awesome. The cost of Concordia. Because you, yes, you, and get to decide everything. It's like five. when WWE did Those that Cyber that Sunday are, thing, are and they were running internet polls about uh, what kind of match somebody would get into. Okay. Are we having a no disqualification match? What? Are we having the an extreme rules match? Are we having a no holds bar so match? It's long. It's you guys get long. to decide. Staring at it right now. Spoilers, they're all the same. 10 minutes, 54 seconds. Here, I'll click on it just to be sure. Yeah, we should yeah, do what uh, they did for you Area 51, really and we should all just storm the Snort Fort. One of us is going to make it through. They can't arrest all of us. You're completely misremembering. Come on. Just show up. You think it's an hour long. Just pull up. Okay. So, here we go again. The, the Fall of 76, Cost of Concordia, Firefest, Area 51, No Man's Sky. That Those Area 51 fun. video is, is godlike. Okay. There was some edits in it that are just we'll like... Is that day like godsend? When we do the long form react, and like if that dude is gonna put out videos like this, I'm fine with like one video every six months. You want to see if they're gonna be that good? And they are that good, man. And uh, <clears throat> he has a longer Firefest video. Well, then it's not one of his most popular. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely not one of his most popular. Look, I'll scroll all the way down here and look. How many now detractors can DSP ax before his gout kicks in? Leave I would say less than one. The he's gonna like, um, he's gonna tear his the Achilles or something. Tony the Tiger. He's gonna break an ACL. Interesting. By the time he gets to the ax. So the moment somebody enters his house, he's already gonna be in like a fetal no, position on the floor. He does not have another Firefest video. I'm looking at him all And a dude right sent him a super he chat saying, you're in the No Man's Sky well. video he did. <laughs> Unless you're, maybe you're, you're misremembering and you, he has two other channels. He has one channel called Storytime and he has another channel called like Incognito Mode. Maybe you're thinking about videos from a, 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 one of his sister channels the there. The sister channels. But there is no other video. There's a family a tree of channel channels. Firefest. You are incorrect. You're wrong, dude. Maybe you're thinking of different videos that same person Unless did, but on a different private. channel. It's not here. We agreed to watch videos on that There's specific just the channel. Of dude. Fire Festival. That's it. You're wrong. Doesn't exist. Call him out. You should ban him too, for because uh, so you don't want dishonest people channel. in your chat. That's possible. But I'll, we're doing Internet Historian. This is the channel that people asked for. This is the channel people want me to react to. That's what we're reacting to. If you want me to react to other, you know, videos, that's fine. But that would be another event. Okay. Big ups, uh, Segi L for the honest, sub. Okay. That's why he's the It is go. not. It's on his other channel. Do you see, guys? You're getting confused. <laughs> They're getting All confused. Right, so not the dude who knew nothing Fall about anything. They're getting Man's confused. Firefest. Area 51. You see, you guys? You're stupid. You're the stupid Concordia. ones. Not me. Those the... are the five. And those will be in contention. I'm not saying we're going to watch them all next week. We'll likely watch at least three. It really depends on how long it takes me to react to each individual one. Okay? Um. So we'll see. But that's what we'll do probably next weekend. On that day, as we do the, the level one podcast, we'll probably run an initial poll. Now, I can only put four options in each poll. 
So we'll probably just talk about the four you guys want. We'll do a poll. You vote. Whatever gets voted in first, that's the first video we watch. And then we do another poll of four. And then we keep, you know, narrowing them down. Fair enough? There you go. That's how it's going to work. I'm glad we just did that because now we have it kind of locked in of what we're going to be doing next week. It makes it feel more real, right? As opposed to, oh, I really don't know what we're doing or whatever. I like having a, a general plan. So that should be fun. It should be fun. Shouldn't you plan stuff based on things that you've researched? Something different than just drama channels. I don't know, man. Drama channels. Comedy and history, correct? It's like both combined. Uh, as opposed to drama, drama, Correct. drama. We've been doing so many drama reacts recently. I, I actually just wanted a whole month away from it. I'm glad we're not doing a drama react this month, quite frankly. I, I need to get a break from that shit. Okay? <clears throat> okay. So that's that. Now, I really don't have much else to talk about today. And there we go. So this like is the podcast. Is literally and then we can do some just the schedule segment. How does that sound? Then we got All right, so a poll segment, we start off and now we got a Q&A. Spider Dijon. That's it. This is the whole podcast. Shout out for a five month in a row membership saying, God damn it. Gifted this to me. Uh, it could have been either Jason. Jason was here last night, and he gifted, like, I want to say, like, at least 10 memberships. Or it could have been a Chum Baguette. Chum Baguette also gifted, like, five memberships last night. It was a good, like, 17 memberships we got on the Final Fantasy V stream. So likely you got your membership during then, Spider Dijon. Congratulations on that. And you know what's funny is people say, Phil, you were wrong about how people get memberships. Because oh. here's, here's my understanding of it. On Twitch, if you gift out memberships, it just gives it to people who it's are the on most the stream, obnoxious dude. Have, now he's we getting bare You're minimum criticism and watch him how he's so actually not correct. Watches and talks and likes, all those things that are positive engagements with a stream, <clears throat> then you're very much more likely to get a membership if someone gives a membership bomb. Even if you're not there, you can get a membership. I'll give you an example. Last night, Spider Dijon got a membership and he wasn't here. But Spider Dijon is a regular who talks on the streams. So, makes sense that he would have gotten that membership. But it's weird because the other day someone corrected me, no, that's not true. It's just if you're on the stream and you're talking, you get it. Spider Dijon was not even here last night and got a gifted membership. So what are you talking about? There were people on the stream last night who didn't have memberships, who didn't get a gifted membership, but he got one. So how does that make sense? I think it is an engagement factor. <clears throat> Linuli says, yes, same thing with me. I got a membership and I hey, wasn't Chanka, I, uh, I replied so to your email. I sent you the regular, whole soundboard. So talk, if there's any other you clips like, you like, you can use them all. You, you can use my songs for regular, whatever you like. And if you're a regular of someone's content Sound good? memberships are gifted out, you're a high chance to get it. How else could you explain someone like Derek, right? Or um, I'm trying to think who the people are. Who so he's just like making time, stuff up. Right? It's just confirmation bias. Who just seem to keep getting the, the gifted memberships because they're around all the time, right? So of course, Derek. I think that that is the case. I think that people are full of baloney when they say things like, oh, uh, but do you have any works. actual exactly factual basis? Can you look it up? Can you find oh, it no, in a, on a page membership. that's she based on YouTube? And they're regular. Maybe you could. I'm not saying you can't. Yeah, it's too. just he didn't so look it up, and he's biased as fuck. Okay. Congratulations. And he wants to use job. that as a way old to boy, beg people for more morning. membership. Thank you so much, old boy. Because so you get that benefit dog. too. You know, man, yeah, when you gift a membership, this the actual fans are going to get it, not the random trolls. For supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. So he's trying to convince you to gift some more. Then we've got Paul. Oh, no, that's an tr idiotic troll. Yep. So I'm just going to ignore there that. There you go. Uh, Audio <laughs> Object did a super chat and says, you're you're actually in the No Man's Sky one he did. There yeah, you go. People have said that, I guess, over the years, people I'll be right back. certain pieces of gameplay of mine to put them into videos. And in particular, my No Man's Sky coverage apparently is in a bunch of videos. Yeah, apparently it's in, in this Internet Historian and others as well. There's a couple other people. And I don't know if it's they took my raw gameplay footage, but, you know, at that time, I had my KO Gaming channel, and as No Man's Sky came out, I did a series of videos on it that had my gameplay footage in it, so maybe they took it from that. I'm, I'm not even sure, but that's kind of neat that my gameplay footage is in other people's videos, so I guess we'll see, right? But anyway, thank you for the super chat audio object. And then, um, <clears throat> uh, Jason is here and did a super chat that I'm late, but I hope that we, I'm ready for the bubbles today. Uh, usually for Elden Ring, we hit the bubble goal. I, I don't think we've ever... Have we ever not hit the likes goal for an Elden Ring stream? I think uh, we, we usually have some pretty darn good attendance during the Elden Ring gameplay. So I think we'll be all right. I think we'll probably hit our, our likes goal for today. Thank you, Jason, for the super chat. 
Um, we have one tip that's come in so far today. Hey, we got the bubbles, did we? Oh no, I'm. Am I behind? I don't know. I haven't been really pausing him. Well, nope. Let's see here. This is so dumb. So listen to this. Oh no, no bubbles. This person tipped the dollar the and said, "Don't you know, internet historian has made references to you as well as your detractors, as well as the incident, and and who hasn't exactly, right?" You do realize that it was like a viral meme thing back in 2016. You know that, right? Like, it was a huge thing. It was all over the internet. People making fun of me for like a year straight about it. <laughs> it was something that literally every major content Oh, man. He's still coping with jerking off on camera. Off, right? That's such a weird thing to so, cope over, man. It's such you, a weird thing to, to like bring up. time finding any successful YouTuber who's been operating since 2016 who hasn't made reference. Uh, that but that's kind of your whole point, man. Of, that's the of, whole of, thing of, is that this is the way you're known. And say, just because you at As one the point dude who jerked off. Me, I will never, ever enjoy content from you. I'd be a moron. Right. Right? <clears throat> if you didn't know, I laughed at the situation, and I, I don't take offense to it. It is something that has happened. I moved on from it and certainly grown as a person. So you can laugh at your past and say, haha, that's the old me. Big deal. That's the old me. So that's not even me, dude. That was me, uh, a I mean, past version of me. I got patched. Like and that's I got updated. Stupid. So stop being an idiot, then. Stop being an idiot. Old boy just gifted a membership and it went That's how sweet. he had to end it with, stop being an idiot. Sweet. He didn't have to say this, but he sure felt like saying it because he wanted old the power boy, trip. He needs that. The that's community. the thing. I appreciate that. He needs to be toxic. Okay. Otherwise, um, he's going to be toxic to Cat. You guys don't want him to be toxic to Cat. So he needs to be toxic to random dudes that give him money. Are you ready? I have something really serious I have to talk to you all about. Hold on a second here, guys. In right. clown mode, and this is going to be a joke. Oops. And we always get it wrong the I first time. I full screen, zoomed in for this, because it's very important. All right, we need to discuss something that's happened. And it is a really important, very, very serious thing. All right? So everyone, prepare yourselves. I have something very important to, to, to tell you today. And I, I feel like I wanted to save one segment for it, <clears throat> because... When something like this happens, all right, we do need to take a moment out to discuss it and treat it fairly and treat it seriously. So I hope you guys are. Yeah, you know, can we get okay. to the punchline? So, ladies and gentlemen, so we could be underwhelmed. Official, all right. As of this morning, Bed Bath and Beyond has filed for bankruptcy. They're going to go out of business. Are you serious? Are we really doing this? It wasn't funny when you filed for bankruptcy. But this is funny. That a lot of people are going to go out of business. And they're going to lose their jobs. But one dude filing for personal bankruptcy, you have no right to laugh at him. These fucking idiots, they're making fun of me. <sighs> and now we have to have this whole clown segment. Oh, wow, what a bunch of fucking idiots. They went out of business. They must have had a shitty business. Do you understand the repercussions? Didn't any of you ever see Team America World Police? Didn't you ever listen to the theme song, America Fuck Yeah? Didn't you hear the lyric where they're saying fuck yeah to things that are truly American and Bed, Bath, and Beyond is one of them that's referenced? Really? <clears throat> Shout out to South Park, I guess. Team America. And now he's going to go somewhere and do some weird gimmick that is just overstayed as welcome. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, no, he's just blowing his nose. But the, the microphone is still on. So we can just hear it. You might as well have been here, dude. Birthday cake. We're only eight days away from his anniversary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's coming up real soon. We're going to do a special happy bust day stream. Where it's gonna be just like the the masturbation clip on for ten hours on on repeat. And Clyde fan says, "Why are your windows locked?" In his chat, and now he's gonna get banned. There we go. He got leaned Obviously immediately. I'm being facetious. Is the the same dude that threatened oh, him boy, the other day? Membership. Who did it go to? And I he missed... made a sock. Congratulations there we go. to Galactic Reptile. 
Whoa! Oh, the gifted membership. Prominent member of chat. Congratulations to you, Galactic Reptile. Thank you again, old boy, for supporting the channel and the community this week. And morning. then we got another Sonic account, <laughs> Large Enemy Crustacean, However, which is a I big enemy so crab, I think. This morning too. Uh, so you know what I should do? This I is one of the weakest sure bits he's ever done. Track. And then he Hold says, what happened to the mute button, Phil? <clears throat> he got wild trolling in chat today. It's almost like 80% people in chat are just goofing on him. Okay. And he needs to sit there and take it. Because some of them have... Member no, crown. That is a correct number. So no worries. We are correct. Uh, such a cuck. He's Go, getting cucked by everybody. His wife cucks him because she makes so him watch I'm other streamers. People in chat beyond. cuck him because he needs like, to sit there and get abused just because they're it's members. An American retailer chain. They own they own two major stores, Bed Bath and Beyond and Bye Bye Baby. Okay. Now there's other spin-offs, and it's unclear if the spin-off like there's the a, a spin -offs. chain called World Market. That's what I go to a lot. I go there to get products and things for DSP tries it and like at the end of the year usually for like Christmas event I usually go get something there to try out for Christmas so it's unclear if that's going to close now too or not okay but for those for those who don't know what it is it's an American uh <clears throat> Now we need to pig explain Bed Bath and Beyond, chain as if it doesn't make sense what it is basically home decor but also things you would need for various home, for example, they sell towels. Oh, so bed, and bath, and beyond. Clothes. They sell drapes. Oh, so they like for the bath. Curtains and so for the bath. Shower heads, you know, toilet oh. seats, things like that. Like it says in they the name. Mats, rugs, things to decorate. Oh. Your house. So it is like a home decor store. It's like having but to explain time, DSP gaming as a gaming like a channel. Section. You know, the like DSP gaming, they like make like, videos you know, about soap, video soap, games, toothpaste, video game news. Oh, like uh, razor blades. Uh, um, they used to have a whole cosmetic podcast for women for some reason and then they got rid of it recently they actually just closed the whole why is he talking now? about this this is a very okay. good question because so, they went out of business it's an interesting and he store. needs to flex on him because he's still but in business and, I, you, and you somebody like went out of business around. which means they're trash so, and he's better than them really nice because he's also stuff. a business owner and, they used and to a household section, operator like, foods and things but then there's another chain called world market that's the same exact thing only the whole store is like regional products and foods from all around the world so it really didn't make sense that that was even in bed bath and beyond but then they closed that section of the store off um, for the most part, if we want something, for example, let's say you want something for your kitchen. Man, I need a spatula. I need an otter and end for my kitchen. You could get it at Bed Bath & Beyond. You need something for your bathroom. You could get it at Bed Bath & Beyond. That was the kind of store it was. The problem with Bed oh, Bath so & Beyond your, was... For your bedroom, your bathroom, and other stuff, there, as like, it says in the name, products, right? But you could also get like cheaper products that were usually their own Correct. generic product lines. But the problem was they never really had good sales. What they had was a promotion where every month you get like a coupon in the mail. 20% off, come in and buy stuff, right? Great. So you go in there, you spend 20, you get 20% off an item. Sometimes it would be like $10 off if you spend $50, right? That's not bad, but that was really their only incentives. They never actually had sales, ever. Like you would never go in there and they'd be like, oh, a huge sale or whatever. They never really did that. It was only like you go in there, if you want to save money, you buy their generic store brand products. But if you want the name brand stuff, it's usually pretty pricey and doesn't go on sale. An example is my wife and I like to burn candles. It makes the house smell good. So they have Yankee Dude, They're going to set their there. house Yankee on candles, fire like, someday with those candles. <laughs> they're full price. They now, like to burn candles for all the Yankee banned Yankee accounts in chat. Bath and, and Beyond. Uh, uh, let's spark one for, uh, for Clyde Baxter. From Yankee Candle Online. They frequently have sales. For Baxter, you Baxter. Three, you save like 50%. For Dave Baxter. So why would you go there? You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> for Jim it's, it's Baxter. It's kind of a store you go there for all Baxter. If you need something. But it's never a store you would go there and be like, man, I'm going to just buy a whole bunch of stuff. Because it's, it's always an expensive It's always deal. expensive. Says the guy who so always buys really expensive stuff. And top of the line no stuff. Because they're better than the they, less they expensive for bankruptcy stuff. Today, and you might say, well, of course they are. Does bankruptcy mean the end? Well, normally no. But I actually got an email from them this morning. And it said, so FYI, as of the end of the month, we no longer accepting any product returns whatsoever. They actually have what's called a bridal registry or a wedding registry. What it is, send them an actual you're product. Married, you register there with a bunch of products you want, and then your friends and family will go and buy those products to gift it to you at your wedding. Oh, so it's like an they Amazon said, wish list for we're transferring couples. We're transferring to a third party company with more news to come about that. We're not no. handling those anymore. So when they're saying, oh, no more returns, no more registries, they're done. That means they're essentially, that they're going to go out of business. They're going to end up liquidating. And are all they a shitty are business? End up closing. Um, Sad. It's just another American retailer going out of business. They should have invested now, in the in the JPEG market. Not 
Really? Those six the star Hogan's, time, man, nice they, they're, they're really hot kind of right now. It's a stop shop deal. It's a good place to kind of window shop. You know, you look around for stuff, and every once in a while, like I said, my wife would see some nice home decor stuff in there that we maybe get for the house or a rug. It's, it's a, a good place, place to go there and look at stuff, stuff and not and buy anything. Go away. Yeah, that's why they're going out of business. What are you going to do? <laughs> Pretty soon we'll all be shopping at Walmart and Walmart alone. Dude, it's a good I place where I go and not there. buy anything. It's, it's really around. great. All it's such a great store. Legal, right? Anyway. Uh, I love going there and not buying any of their it. products. Everyone, I just look at stuff and leave. Like Bath and Beyond, which is going out of business. By the way, this was just a random segment. It really wasn't that pertinent. Why was it so long, though? I got an email about it this morning. And you I got like, an email. Oh, I'll, I'll talk about it on the show just to kill some time. So there you go. Okay. Um... Sure. Exactly. Demolition Daddy says paying thirty dollars for a Yankee candle is absolutely insane. You could get one for five dollars at Christmas tree shops. Do, you anyone who would pay full price for a Yankee candle? I mean, that's nuts. They they go on sale for half price all the time. That's what I mean. Why would you go to Bed Bath and Beyond and say I'm going to buy this full price name brand item today? Like he's Why? talking about killing time. Why do you need to kill time on a podcast? Just end the podcast the when you have nothing to stuff. talk about. That's how you know? podcasts work. Let's just kill some time. We have okay. to be here. It's like we have to be here. Um, we must here. do this. So let's just talk about random shit nobody cares about. Someone took the dollars. You're the last person who can make fun of a bankruptcy. Who's making fun of a bankruptcy? Uh, I'm not making fun of it. I think it's sad. He I really think it's sad, dude. That's I why feel he's like crying. It's very sad that American retailers are failing, right? I do. I think that there was an era, the 80s and 90s and 2000s, where there was this big boom of retail prominence. And it was a really good era. <clears throat> and what's happening is we're seeing all these things die out. The physical shopping Like, he was literally these, making fun of it, though, because the whole segment started with a clown way, mode like, layout. A discount it's store, like, oh, you right? guys, we need to talk like, about something serious. Of, of, Bed, um, Bath & Beyond is going out of business. It's really serious, right? Home goods. And what's well, not like a lot of people work there and are gonna not have jobs. You would buy Bed, Bath & Beyond, didn't sell. So now it goes to home goods. If DSP worked there, it would be like the, the worst thing ever. Like he would have like a six hour. The future of Phil Burnell stream. Emergency. I've been laid off because my company is fucking so stupid. Mess, you see? Well, that's how corporate yeah. America works. It's, it's sad. It's sad to see retail stores fail. One day everybody's you know, going to be happy nice in the break room. And the next day you're going to get laid off for no fucking good, reason. You know, financial health, you know, commerce working, capitalism working. And when you hear a giant chain like this is big, Bed Bath & Beyond is a big chain. To hear that they're going out of business is, is a bad thing. That's not a good thing to, to be happy about. I mean, let's be honest. Is it going to end the world because there's no Bed Bath & Beyond? No, of course not. But at the same time, it's, it's a negative thing, you know? <clears throat> okay. What's up, Felix DeMay? Good to see you today. What's up, Felix? Who the fuck let's is that see. guy? I received a $2 tip. Um, from closing time, they said, I got a Belgian waffle iron from Bed Bath & Beyond. I guess that would count as part of the Beyond. P.S. Kmart has 20 U.S. Well, you can put it in your bathtub. Please Dustin do. Dustin Hoffman from Rain Man would be in trouble. While well, you're in it. I don't get the Rain Man reference because I don't haven't seen that movie in a very long time. But thank you for the $2 tip closing time. Well, it, it rains constantly. You're going to get wet. Don't watch it. Yeah, like what I was saying is, Bed Bath & Beyond was a place, if you need anything for your house... It never stopped like, raining like, in that uh, movie. It's like heavy rain. What do they call it? Not a home good, but like, um... There's a word for it, right? Things for the house. Things for any, any you know, for your kitchen. For your... Yeah, bro, we get it. It's literally in the name. The it's in the name! The Why do we need to kill more time? You know I mean? Home essentials? Yeah, I guess home essentials would I be... I guess, yes, word. okay. Yes. That kind of stuff. Um... That would be, it's a one-stop shop place for it. That, it's it's a, a focused store where you can get that kind of stuff. <clears throat> we bought, we bought, no, we didn't. Never mind. We were looking for a, a, a frying pan and we ended up buying it at Kohl's, not the not Bed Bath & Beyond, now that I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> okay. So. Ooh, delicious yeah, fingers. That would be another word for it. Home amenities, sure. Amenities, commodities. So. Fantastic, you see my robustness. Bedroom? Sure you can, if you were in it. But you're not, so you can't see it. That's why we're coming. <laughs> but Watch it out. Visible. It's a visible bedroom. It's not invisible. What? Okay. With those two beds? Jason did another super chat. It's one for Phil and one for Kat and her boyfriend. Remotes. In reality, <laughs> the um, electronics, they don't really have much. You know what? Okay, you know what? You know what's a lot in Bed Bath & Beyond? Those products that are 
as seen on TV, those products are huge in Bed Bath and Beyond, and that's a freaking big brand. Like for example, I know I'm thinking about that TV show Shark Tank. A lot of the products on Shark Tank that get financed end up being sold at Bed Bath and Beyond. Well, now there's no Bed Bath and Beyond. Oh no, all these people are so gonna go gonna bankrupt. No, help! Hopefully they don't fail now because they don't have a place to be sold, right? Yeah, man. They should start begging for okay. tips. <laughs> that's that's how they're gonna make it out of bankruptcy. They're gonna make a really serious video about their future. They got a lot of cheap PS3 and Xbox 360 games when Kmart closed. Yeah, Kmart closed a while ago, right? Over a decade ago. I haven't been to one since I was a kid. I used to go there with my great aunt. Ramrod says, "Why is it called a bedroom if there's only one bed in there? Shouldn't it be called the clothes room?" What are you, Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> That sounds like a Seinfeld stand-up joke. Why do they call it the bedroom? There's only one bed in there. There's way more clothes. It should be called the clothes room. No. <laughs> no. JDTV says, I hope one day you'll be able to squash the beef with Rambo. I don't have any beef with Rambo. I saw you watch the video yesterday on DSP Reacts. I did. You only live once. It sucks that you don't talk anymore. Yeah. I, again, I don't have beef with Rambo. I never did. He apparently had problems with me. He you. had beef with me. He re refused. <laughs> to talk to me. For an extended period of time, he just ignored any kind of attempt that I had to contact him. Oh, that's the narrative now. And then he made a nasty video about me, and that was the end of it. You Fantastic. know, it's not like I, I, I'm the public figure. I'm the one who can be reached. But he never reached out to me. He has no desire to talk to me, or else he would have by now. You understand? So... That's they would just be the bigger I'm man, sure Phil. Ever I mean, you're you're bigger end, anyways, literally. Out, there's many ways, public ways, to reach out and contact me. I'm the one who's still public on the internet. He's the one who's I'm the going one. to a private life off the internet. I'm the private one. You know? I'm the so, public one. <laughs> I'm the guy. Kagome says, Resident Evil 4 is challenging but fun. Correct. I agree with you. Let's just kill this podcast, dude. This is a waste of time. But he's also at $4 in tips. And he knows if he starts playing, this is going to be sad. So we got to wait. Kmart still exists? We got to wait. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They, gonna they, have you, to. Aren't they tiny now? Aren't they like an insanely small thing? Because they used to be huge. There was a Wings and Boogie over. trailer. I, I'm going to watch this after that. Just Chillin says you could do a tier maker of old stores, oh. whether they're go gone or no longer. What just happened? They're gone or no longer have the same glory they once had. We could do that. I guess you could do... We could look tier maker like American retailers or something like that. We could probably look at that like American retail stores. If there's a tier maker for that. I guarantee you there probably is. See, what, like, here's the thing. Bro, so why are people still getting up, him to talk about this, man? The around me was, let's see, Bradley's. Oh, my God. Because it, it's like they... Woolworths. They make um, it seem like... <clears throat> He should keep talking about Reeves? this because they're still talking about this. I'm naming but they're only talking about anymore. this because he's yeah. talking about this. G -G -H it's just the cycle. Like it that. never stops. Um, He's the one who I should just move on. Stores. Of course, Macy's was one. They still exist. Sears was one. They still exist, although they barely exist. It is a okay. feedback loop. It's literally um, a dent feedback loop. Literally. Now we're just thinking about what retailers have been around here. I had a place near me called Town Fair. But I don't know if that was a chain. There we go. Let's dox the town okay. fair. Um, Send all the trolls there. Th those are the ones when I was a kid. It has traps in it. To get older, got trip there wire. was like more specialized things like Circuit City, Best Buy, Target. And those were more specialized stores that started opening around. And then, of course, you got Walmart, the jack of all trades. That's just so big that they could never really fail, you know? Toys R Us, that was a big... Well, 672 coming in strong with was, one gifted membership. The US, and they're not there anymore. going crazy. Um... They're still strong in Canada. He's flexing that big bag. Yeah, we don't have Toys R Us anymore. What you have, the Toys R Us brand was brand? bought and resold as something different. So now, like, if you go to Macy's, they have a section of toys in the basement of Macy's that they call Toys R Us. What? That's not Toys R Us. A tiny little three-shelf section of toys is not Toys R Us. But, but they, they brand it as the such. They have the, the right and to the brand. they have a Jeffrey the Giraffe-like statue in Macy's now. It's really stupid. It's stupid, I guess. 672. How many of his actual, like, channel. tangents and end up in... Yeah, yeah, this is stupid. Everything is stupid. We just end up everything Clyde with, hey, this is Baxter. stupid. Baxter. Clyde Baxter got cucked. Clyde Baxter. <laughs>
Suck a dog off. Bro, like his eyes are so like lifeless. Fly. And it's like little like little olives in his head. It's just nothing behind him. Like just look at him. It's just two dots in the middle of his head. Memberships today. I appreciate that. I don't know how to call um, this. Maybe it's because I don't like the guy. Okay, he's just a uh, moron. Just gonna ignore them. Oh, yep, let's ignore him. Just a troll. Just a troll. Fucking idiot. Okay. Oh. The dude who asked him, uh, are his oh. windows open? And now we're having a stretch break. Oh. Ooh. Are we serious? We actually have to do this. Okay. This um, is a podcast for real, else, guys, where he expects to get money from a few because of his performance, like and people chat. like doing we'll this. Jump into Elden Ring. Okay. Did I ever play with swim toys in a pool? I never had a pool, so no. Never had a never pool. Had you should get one. Pool. I used to go to my great aunt had a backdoor pool, and even my godfather had a backdoor pool, and they had like floaties and things. But no, I never had a pool, so no. The answer is no. Jason did a super chase. I'm suspicious of these backstairs. There's two. Yeah, uh, Alex for the I sub. still to this day don't know what the deal is with the Baxter name. Shove it in my butt. I don't get it. I have no concept of what it is or what it know it is. Just a, at all. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of a, a grassroots gimmick. So there's no background in it. There's no the nothing that a Baxter, is a Baxter that is a troll name. reference. They just kind of exist for people who are trying to to be stupid. So I would strongly recommend you change the name because you're probably going to end up getting Rename yourself. a bad crowd. Yeah. Because it's, it's like you're in a gang. You're in the, the Baxter gang. Meet? I've never gone to a swap meet. No. JDTV says, you know, I never the played Baxters. all the ring. I They're a fucking you, gang, dude. I'm going to ban watching. them all. It's all good. One day he's just going to ban all of them. Just random Baxter dudes to, just going to get banned. Do I miss Sears? I miss the days when Sears was... Whoa, it's a random sock shopping. account gifting him it's five really memberships. Wow, Boston Pleb. It's like a ghost town. You can't find... Maybe he's not a random sock. Who knows? Is almost empty. He's an actual member, so... Sears, who knows? But he hasn't been active in his chat, so... I guess it's just like a random dude. Years. The store is, is But we hit the goal for today. So now products. we got another, like, three-minute segment about him talking to... About the future goal. You Good luck getting checked out. You're going to wait a long time because there's, like, two lines in the whole store where they check you out. It's a nightmare. The, the stock is all messy and shit. And it used to be a very prominent, classy department store. We're still talking about this. There, everything was Are we for real? Fully. It was high-end products. People were, were there to help you through the store, be your guide. I can't the store believe to Get what you wanted. Always a service with a smile. Checking you out right away. People all the over cap the of this stream is just Bed Bath & Beyond. The thing that... He started off by it's telling you nobody cares about, businesses and it's not a big deal. But now we're talking about it constantly and explaining what Beth Bath and Beyond is. All right, I received. It's explained in the name. Bomb. This one's from. Even Boston I know, Glenn. and I've never been to one, and I never will and be. Those went to. Apparently, they're going amazing. out of business. But for some reason, it's not loading. It looks like. It looks like we got a massive contribution. Not sure. Sixty thousand dollars. Mark Downing, D David Drent, Stephen, and the buy-in. Have all just received a gifted membership. The buy-in. So congratulations to all of you. <laughs> Some just random trolls. The Wikipedia only 18 Sears locations remain. What? I don't know about that. We have a local Sears right here where I live. I don't think there's only 18 left. That doesn't sound right. That sounds like way too few to me. But may maybe it's right. But that doesn't sound right. Um. Let's see here. I received a two-dollar tip from Mr. Puffy Nipples. He says, "Do you remember linens and things?" You could look this up. Circus City still has a website. Did you go to KB Toys? Yeah, Linens and Things, I remember. I don't think I've ever been in one, but the name sounds very familiar, so I think I did I did know that it was there, and I saw stores in my area. Um, KB Toys, I used to shop at all the time. They used to be not only at my local mall, but they used to actually have <clears throat> their own uh, individual freestanding stores as well, back when they used to have individual toy stores, which they don't have anymore. You first it was KB Toys, and then a competitor opened called Toy Works, and then, because the industry was shifting, they fused into one company, KB Toy Works. And I used to shop there. They used to, well, that's in the 90s when they used to have things like the Spawn action figures. That's where I used to go to buy the collectible figures. Yeah. Okay. Liza Ver sold it to Super Chat. He says, I saw two people in those sit down electric <laughs> scooters arguing with each other at Walmart. I thought, I've seen something like this on South Park. Well, you have to understand they get their source material from somewhere, right? They get their source Tell them why you don't go to Walmart. <laughs> Tell them. That's why I don't go to Walmart. I avoid the dregs of society because I'm above them. Okay. 
That's why I drink seltzer water and not tap water. Tap water is bad for you. Brian says if you hold down on the D-pad, you're going to get to your health flask quickly without having to cycle through all the flask. Is that true? And it's only the health flask? I'll have to try that. I never even did that in my original run. And at this yeah. point, it's just Lysa for a soul cucking out like to Penny keep this stream longer. Catalogs that were a way you could check out how much old consoles used to cost. Just oh, yeah. keep sending Dude, super chats uh, so you can get them to talk to about something. Books called wish book and like dsp the the way he works is like you pitch up a topic you throw it up to him and then he grabs it and he keeps going on and on about it so if if you guys didn't know this is what i said yesterday i said that i was gonna have a ghostbusters team well that's kind of one of the things that i was planning to do but speaking of which this is on the sister channel uh dsp reacts so I totally remember that. I totally so remember and so and so. I used to read them every every Christmas as well. There I we go. Them. This is basically Ask the King They're of this They're a very point. nice way to see all the stuff out there. Lies of Resolve did a super chat saying, when become people signed up for DSP Ghostbusters team like you mentioned a couple days ago? It was something I was talking about. There we go. Happens. Exactly. Spawn Killer did a super chat. Oh, you didn't get into it because there was another super chat. And that's correct. Uh, I don't know if it's officially... I would have loved a reiteration Buster, segment from yesterday. So what I said yesterday is thus. I actually have no clue. Um... But they don't, I know Blockbuster for a while was just an on-demand system, just like Netflix, and even that failed. Rugal says, some Dark Souls games, if you hold down on the item button, the game goes and cycles to the first item in your item menu. In your case, it's the flask. <clears throat> 672 says, I missed Midnight releases at GameStop. I will never forget the GTA 5 Midnight release. There were so many people there. I remember it, too. I, I remember Certain midnight releases. That was one of the biggest ones. Absolutely, it was. Boston <laughs> 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 Plus says GameStop is next, if not already there. La, la, GameStop la, la, la. has already been in, in jeopardy of failing multiple times. But for some odd reason, companies keep bailing them out. Last time it was Microsoft. Microsoft bailed out GameStop. I don't know why. I don't know what they think the value of the store is. It really has no added value anymore. Whenever you, you have operate a business, <laughs> you have to have what's called a value proposition. <laughs> I went to business school. Mr. Business. Your value is supposed to be what is the value of the business. Why are you going Mr. There? Business. GameStop uh, you can video games. You can buy we're getting console, an actual business tutorial, my guy. You can talk to someone this is what we're actually doing, unironically, no joke. You need. Do you need a strategy guide? Do you need a memory card? What do you I'm need? going to tell people how Today, to run their business. You literally do all of that from your house on the internet. So what is the perceived value of GameStop? If right now I can order a console, a game, all the accessories I need, either for overnight delivery, get it free tomorrow, or get it digitally instantly, why the hell do I need a physical store for it? Right? You essentially have a physical store selling digital medium. And that's why GameStop has turned into a junk store. They sell pop Funko figures, which by the way, those are failing now too. The, the, the business has all these unsold figures they don't need anymore. Um, T-shirts, mugs, collectibles, junk. Nothing that you need to be at a GameStop store for. That's what their big their big sales are now. So, it absolutely, they're, uh, they're on the way out. They're, they have not adjusted to the modern economy and the modern gaming landscape. Um, <clears throat> I received a $4.20 tip. Yeah, there we go. That makes all the, all the stalling and meandering oh, and makes it all worth it. It all paid off, dude. This is Clyde. What? I can't answer you because your your question isn't worded properly. What? Listen to this. Would you be willing to watch a video from a known detractor if the video had nothing to do with you or negativity? So you're saying. So let's say for example, would I watch a video from Tevin, but it's not a video about me? Okay. What if it's a really good video? I don't. I don't really care. Like, he doesn't care. The thing is. I don't really give a shit. You don't even know what the video is about. Kind of content, regardless. If it's someone who's a detractor of mine, what is the well, kind I mean, of I content don't want to talk about their content or care about it? Right? I just ignore them and move on with my life. But you don't, don't even know what the video is about. Right? It's probably a it's uh, a Gundam I video. Not to, because he does stuff on different. I'm not topics. saying absolutely no. There's no circumstance where I would. I'm just saying I just don't see the point. If it's someone whose content is focusing on negativity. Right? Because obviously if there's someone who's a detractor of mine, likely, likely that's the kind of content they put out is they're detracting. Right. They're not detracting me. They're detracting, they're detracting someone. someone else. That's their shtick. Right? 
I don't is it like though? that kind of stuff. I don't want to sit here and just watch someone. Why well, are you just assuming stuff about people? About a random person. group of like people? That. That's not even like a, a single any. person. Uh, um, can I assume if DSP's been toxic in the and past says, and have toxic segments, he's toxic all the time? When I assume this, I'm mentally ill. Stop a hot topic are now nothing like they were growing up. They're filled with Funko sure. Pop BS. That no, that is true too. Are you kidding me? Hot topic. When I was growing up, and, and hot topic was at the mall. It was a goth store. It was 100% a goth store. You would walk in there, and it was all goth style clothing, goth style music decorations it was a, a goth store that was the gimmick of the store the goth style style and then the store turned into pop culture now you walk in there there's a bunch of pop culture t-shirts pop culture merchandise pop culture shit they have a little bit of gothic like stuff in the corner and then everything else is just sell all the mainstream shit it's completely different store today than it used to be i went there when i was in high school i bought a pair of sneakers that were dark black and red and looked really cool. They were like a th dark themed sneaker. You couldn't get that color scheme anywhere else. It was considered a goth color scheme. And I liked wearing those sneakers around because they were very unique. They were very uncomfortable, but they were very unique. And I wore them in high school. He, he was wearing them there for the go. swag. He just wanted to be I swagged Spencer, out, Spencer's dripped out. They still exist. Dripped out piggy, imagine that. Mm-hmm. Him dressing was up. I an emo? No, oh my I god, I look so hot, man. All when these Latina chicks at school, like, they're like, gonna wanna suck example, my balls. I wear <laughs> black t shirts with characters and things on them and stuff. Like I do today, but it's gaming related. Well back then it was more like I wore wrestling shirts and I wore other like other stuff. He wore and, like John Cena shirts. Like, even Never give up. Was considered <laughs> you had to go buy it like a hot topic. He wore those like, uh, armbands too. The see? John Cena armband. Jade, I will would just order the whole cosplay set. We just don't know when. It would have like a Hulk Hogan bandana. Imagine. But he needs okay. it nowadays to hide his baldness. Oh, yeah. Kind of like Hulk Spencer Hogan. Spencer still exists. Spencer's gifts is still in many malls and things. I've, I've seen it. <clears throat> I've never worn overalls once in my life. No, I have not. Okay. Guys. I think we had a good podcast. That was a good discussion. Yeah, that, that was, was the, what stuff. was good about it. <clears throat> <laughs> now we're just gaslit into this being good somehow. We're chilling. Thanks hey, for you guys. Discussion. This was Thank really good. Super. What about it was good? It was meaningful, I guess. Into Elden Ring. I'm excited for the Moonvale Katana. He's excited. Today. I can't, like right now it's very weak, but once I just kill some enemies and I'm able to go level it up at the blacksmith, I think it's going to be really good. And I'm excited to have that paired with my magic build. So it should be a good day, an interesting day today, right? All right, guys, thank you all very much. And, of course, remember... Suck a dog off. There we go. Uh, I guess he's going to beg now, but I don't really care about that. Let's look at the uh, drama alert. The the trailer. There we go. Boogie versus Wings. One, 800 pounds, one ring. Trailer. Let's look at this. Conway, South Carolina. Oh man, I'm so excited. Home of Wings of Redemption. The home of Boogie2988. This is gonna be so exciting, man. Oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna start crying to this trailer. Yeah, look at him go. Yeah, look at him go. <laughs> It's gonna be such a, such a meme. Yes, yes. Look at their soft side. They have puppies. They have pets, you guys. Feel bad for them. I didn't know Boogie is that big, man. Wings looks much smaller. Sort of everything else. I, like, I've always put it this way. I literally flew to Mexico and paid a man that doesn't speak English to cut my stomach out. You could do more damage to that back, and that back is barely holding on. You could end up having a stroke or heart attack. You get punched to the chest. You can... <laughs> They're hyping up the damage, dude. It's like in WWE, man. When they do this, don't try this at home. It's incredibly dangerous. And then you have John Cena being like, I ruptured my uh, Achilles. Then you have Rey Mysterio showing up and be, be like, this is done by professionals. It's incredibly dangerous. Why are you doing this? 
And the reason I'm doing this is because it is dangerous. Right? Like, He's doing it because it's dangerous. I'm afraid of, man. He's embracing his fears by finding another fat dude. Uh, we were doing pad work with him. <laughs> He's put in the work. Like, He's hitting the pads hard. That's hard. He basically says it doesn't matter. He's knocking you off. Oh. With what? I mean, like, they didn't even bother getting like a professional, like a boom mic or something. This is just a bunch of loud music over just random camera microphone. Yeah, arthritis in his fucking hips. What? What is all this? This is my haunted house stuff. You see this out every year, man. Last as long as it was as strong as that chair. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on Pornhub or something? No, man. I'm checking Twitter. You know me. It's like, I don't care if the YouTube thing works out or not. Like, honestly, it was great. It was a good experience in life. I wouldn't change it. But if I had to move on and do something else, it's, it is what it is. I'll be honest with you. One of the things I'm fighting for here is this collection. I don't want to I don't wanna lose some of the cool shit that I have. Ladies and gentlemen, Drama Alerts and Happy Punch presents... Boogie 2988! Wings of Redemption! <laughs> this is so fucking great. Bro. Okay. Okay. I mean, the, the editing is pretty bad. They should have edited it like WWE style. Like super dramatic. Cut this, this weird generic fucking royalty free right. music. Put on some, like, edgy metal music and have them cut promos. Wings, I'm gonna beat you until you fucking die. Boogie, I'm gonna beat you until you fucking die. And then they both just, like, cut, like, a amazing promo on each other. And they just get, like, super riled up. And then they get winded, and then you just cut to a different shot. And then they just pet some dogs so you can see their, their soft side. Well, I guess that's it. Now, this stream... It's going to forward you to um, the Decepticon, and they're doing the Sims thing, and I'm going to be watching this. So yeah, that's it. I don't really feel like watching other stuff, and I feel like eating. So that's what I'm going to go do. And see you around, dogs. Bye.